Thousands of years have passed since mankind discovered how to harness the wind to propel ships faster and further. Today, let's say hello to Ocean Bird, a big wind-powered vessel in development by Wilenius Marine that aims to revolutionize this technology. Ocean Bird may appear to be a ship of the future, but it harkens back to ancient maritime history. Because it is powered by wind, the main benefit is that it aims to reduce emissions by 90% compared to conventional vessels, demonstrating that the maritime industry can affect major change and that zero emission shipping is possible. The Ocean Bird Concepts maiden vessel will set sail in 2025. It is intended to function as a transatlantic car transporter. The 650 foot long vessel will be similar in size to traditional car carriers, but it will appear completely different. The hull of the ship is topped by five telescoping wing sails, each 260 feet tall. The sails can rotate 360 degrees without contacting each other and may be retracted to 195 feet to clear bridges or endure strong weather. The sails, which will be composed of steel and composite materials, must be this large in order to create enough propellant power for the 35,000 ton ship. Although the functional concepts of solid wing sails are not novel, creating the sails for the Ocean Bird has proved challenging. This is due to the fact that these are the highest ship sails ever built, and as you travel that far up into the sky, the wind direction and velocity vary dramatically. To better understand the atmospheric conditions at this altitude, the team mounted sensors to the tops of its existing boats as they crossed the Atlantic, collecting data on wind velocity and veer, a clockwise shift in wind direction, up to 650 feet above sea level. This behemoth is intended to release 90% less CO2 than ordinary vehicle transporters. However, it will not be fully emission-free because it will still rely on engines for port and maneuvering in emergencies. Ocean Bird's anticipated peak speed of 10 knots implies that it will be slower than traditional vehicle carriers, which can cruise at 17 miles per hour. Crossing the Atlantic will take around 12 days, rather than the usual seven. This long voyage will necessitate some schedule adjustments. However, Ocean Bird's naval architect and research project manager estimate that the full-size version will be available in three years. What do you think? Can we reach zero emission ships one day? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.